Hey Libra, welcome to your reading. Mid to end of August love life reading for singles and couples. So this is your love energy reading. Let's see what we have going on for singles. We're going to start with singles and then couples. Remember that this is a general reading and not all readings will resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I want to thank everyone for your likes, shares, and subscribes, all your comments, your messages, and those that have booked readings with me, those that have been so kind and generous as to send me a donation, letting me know that the readings have resonated. I appreciate it so much. Codependency. Okay. If you have an Aquarius in your life, I swear I shuffled the deck. If you have an Aquarius in your life, there is a situation here with codependency as the Aquarius people got theirs as well and soulmate. Okay. So for you strictly single Libras, you are wanting to be with your soulmate. There is someone that's around you that you feel is your soulmate. You can't 100% move forward with them because you still feel attached or tied to a codependent relationship. Whether it's a toxic relationship that you are att attached to, or this is someone close to you in your surroundings that have addiction problems. You feel, un this is someone that is close to you within your surrounding who has addiction problems, gambling, sex, video games, alcohol, drugs, shopping, could be so many different things. You're so worried about them that you can't release yourself from them. You're, you're more concerned about their well-being than your own, that you have sacrificed your happiness. You think about them, you think about what's going on with them before you move forward with your life. You want this soulmate partnership. You may already know who this soulmate partnership is. But remember that there are, this is also a general reading, so the energies might be vice versa here as well. This could be a soulmate that you know to be your soulmate. You're not together though because you are single. However, they are codependent or attached to someone, family member, child, parent, friend, or ex. So in order for you to move forward, because I feel as though you're not moving forward right now, you're really stuck in this codependent attachment or vice versa, they are. This is a lot more of what you're telling yourself than what meets the eye. So if you have a codependent parent, child, partner, ex-partner, I should say, because this is for strictly single Libras. I feel as though you think that you can't take time for yourself. You can't make time for yourself to have a relationship with the soulmate that you know is in your area. You've met them, you know them, Nothing has happened with this person though. Either you're just friends or you're just acquaintances, but you feel as though you can't even start something with them because you're wondering about this relationship, this parent, this sibling, this child. It could be a relationship from your past. It could be a parent, a child. It could be your own. You may, you may have addiction problems. The more you tell yourself you have these addiction problems or the more you tell yourself that you can't move on with your life because someone has addiction problems or because you are attached to a toxic situation or relationship from the past, the less likely you are to come together with this soulmate. However, when you do release yourself from this soulmate, when you do take the blindfold off and realize that these eight swords aren't holding you back, you have a positive new be beginning here. Things start to manifest. Things start to unfold for you. In love and finances, you get this positive new beginning. It opens up a new world for you. Maybe you just started a new job where you met this soulmate. So 
what's stopping you from moving forward the love is there but the codependency is stopping you the soulmate is waiting for you but the codependency is stopping you so no new beginnings in love because of codependency issues if your relationship is stagnant well no this is single i keep blurring the lines here i'm sorry but for single libras you can't seem to move on from this codependent relationship. You have this happily ever after that you will be wanting to work forward, work towards. And you also have someone here who wants to put into this relationship, but you're stuck into this codependency situation. Tell me about this soulmate for Libra. Do they know them? Are they waiting for them? It is someone from your past. It is someone that you already know. It is someone that you know is your soulmate, but you are not together with. This codependency is blocking these energies. So you need to heal from this codependency relationship, this codependent issue that you have, because there is a very promising relationship here. These cards are just flying all over the place. You need to communicate what you want. You need to let them know if you're the one with the addictions and you need help, you need to talk to them. If you're stuck with a codependent ex, child, partner from the past, business partner, friend, you need to speak about what binds you to the past, what is holding you there. I'm feeling so many different energies here. You really need to take a break and figure out what it is that you want, Libra, because I feel like you're having a really hard time walking away from this codependency issue. All right, so how can they release themselves from this codependency issue? You have a codependent ex-partner love relationship. You feel as though they are your soulmate. You got the same cards, lovers and the eight of swords. So if this is an ex you were once with, you can't release yourself from them in order to move forward. The love is there. However, codependencies. Wow. A lot of the same cards. The hanged man, the devil. This is someone from your past. There's a six of cups again. So, straight up single Libras, what's been going on? Well, you may have broken up or may have separated from this soulmate from your past. You felt that they were the one. You haven't been together. You haven't been seeing each other. You feel very attached to them, very tied to them, bound. You know that it's a toxic relationship. Maybe they have addiction problems. Maybe they have bad vices, bad habits. It's almost like I feel like they're no good for you. I feel like this is someone who just bad vibes. Like they're like, like they don't even think twice about making a bad decision. Like they don't care. It's like one of those like, eh, fuck it. What are they going to do to me? You know, like it's not even, you're not even being smart about it. I would say to this person, it could be you, it could be your partner or ex-partner. You can't move forward in your love life because of this codependency issue and because in your mind, emotionally, energetically, you feel as though this is your soulmate. How do you move forward from this? How can you break these codependency issues? You need to speak your truth. You need to love yourself. You need to break that blindfold away. Get rid of those swords. Release yourself from the past. And focus on loving yourself before offering love to anyone else. Because right now you are straight up single and you should not be worried about anyone but yourself. How can they heal from this codependent issue? How can Libra singles heal from this codependent issue? Wow. Three flipped over. And wait till you see these, Libra. Healing, obviously. 
I'm asking how can you heal from it? Well, she's got the light in her hands. She knows the answer, the healing starts with her. This person has put you through so much grief and it's time for you to find your inner strength and power to release yourself from it. Because yes, they are your soulmate. But I wanna remind you, Libra, we're not meant to be with all our soulmates. We have several soulmates in our lifetime. We have a soul family. You may have a family member that was part of your soul family, a different life. You may have a soulmate best friend. They are your BFF soulmates. You guys go back several lives together. And sometimes these soulmates come in to teach us lessons, karmic debt we need to pay, karmic cycles that need to end, and that will be repeating itself over and over again with this codependency issue until you release yourself. Heal, face the reality of it, heal, release yourself, learn from it, and don't let it happen again. Don't allow this type of energy to come in. And understand that even though there was love between you, is the love still there or is it just a comfort, an attachment? Is this something you want to work out? Is this something they want to work out? Is this a soulmate they came in to teach us lessons? That is something that you need to figure out and go within. Because you're selling yourself short here. Every time that you bend your boundaries for someone who has codependency issues, for someone who is who has addictive behaviors for someone who is toxic you allow that toxic energy to take on your life it's almost as though you're willing to put up with anything just to continue this relationship but libra there's a reason why you guys aren't together anymore right Really, really think about whether or not this is something you want to continue, something you want to work out, or if they are good for you. Really think about what it is that you want and ask yourself, do I want this? Do I want that person? Are they good for me? What is good? What is bad? Is this the end all be all of all my relationships just because we have a soulmate connection? Again, and not we are not meant to be with all the soulmates we cross paths with. Some of them are just here to teach us what we need to learn. And so, Libra Singles, that was your reading. Libra Singles, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to move on to Libra Couples, In-Betweeners, Married, Dating, Oh my goodness. Okay. So we have separation and we have passion. Let me take one more for Libra couples, please. Libra couples and in-betweeners. Make the effort. Okay. I don't remember who else got that make the effort card. Somebody got it in one of my readings earlier in the week. So separation. If this has anything to do with the single reading for those couples that did not watch the beginning of the reading where I did the singles reading. If you are separated, broken up with, not having any contact with an ex who feels as though this is your soulmate, go back and see, go back and watch the singles reading. If this is someone who is recently dating, just married, exclusively dating, in between. There may be um, a separation with you, but this is more like time apart before a new beginning takes place. Why is this new beginning? Why is, I'm sorry, why is this separation here? With the High Priestess and the Page of Cups. What is going on with Libra couples mid to end of August? I feel like somebody here had to travel. And that is a separation. It's not a breakup. It's just a distance between you. 
I do feel that this is a distance between two people. Yeah. For a few of you, you're taking a break from each other. You want to figure out how you can revamp this, how you can make this work. You're both taking the time to figure out if you want this relationship to continue to figure out what isn't working here. Some of you have traveled away to take some time for yourself to figure things out. Ultimately, you want to be able to have a new beginning, whether it's with them or not, whether it's getting back together or not, because your main goal here is to be victorious, to really do what you love and be with who you love. And you're at a point where you're kind of second guessing that relationship, that connection. Is this the person for me? Is this who I want to be with? I hardly see them anymore. And yet I've put so much work into this relationship. Why am I overthinking this? Why does this feel heavy to me? I do feel as though you have sleepless nights. And you have anxiety issues. Because you haven't seen your partner. Then you get defensive when you bring it up. And it's probably nothing really major. Perhaps somebody got really busy at work or school with their friends, with their family, and just hasn't been able to make time for you or vice versa. Yeah, somebody just recently got a job, a new business opportunity that has pulled them away from you or vice versa. You haven't been able to make any time for your partner because you've started this new beginning. And there are a few of you whose partner, or could be you, got a new job that's at a distance. They have a long commute. Some, for some, it's in a different state, a different county. There is travel involved with this new job, and so you haven't been able to see them, connect with them, you miss them. And ultimately, if you want to continue this relationship or this marriage, or you want to figure out whether or not this break should be long term or not, make the effort here. They've got a new beginning or you've got a new beginning in finances in this job that requires traveling, which means you'll hardly ever see each other. And who knows how long this will go on, right? But you're feeling defensive and you're standing your ground or maybe they're, they're feeling defensive because you're wondering... When are you going to make time for me? And then they get defensive. And then they feel guarded. Because they feel as though, well, this is, you know, a new job. This is a powerful new beginning for me. I feel good about this job. I know I have to travel. I'm sorry I can't see you. I come home. I get what I need. And then I take off again. And so then you both become guarded, but you really need to make the effort. I do feel like distance has been growing between the two of you. The passion is there. The love is there, but there needs to be equal give and take. You both need to meet each other halfway. Give this relationship some sort of reboot here. Give it back some life. Put an end to the doubt, to the questions, to the anger, the resentment. Try to control your emotions when you speak about this because I feel anger and resentment and you feel guarded because you're trying to hold on to this happy home, but you're feeling confused. And it's weird because I feel like there's nothing going on for you to worry about. The separation is just distance and they're busy with work. And you're confused as to whether or not this is working out, whether this distance is going to break you guys apart. But I feel as though you're think overthinking everything. Because you still have the Ten of Cups, so you need to make the effort. 
if you want to hold on to that Ten of Cups? Or do you want to be single? Are you thinking that they're about to cut you out and leave you single? Are you thinking that they're acting single while they're away? This is you being angry and resentment and resentful. Perhaps someone is acting as though they're single or you're thinking that and overthinking that. But really, they're just working, trying to create this Ten of Cups for you, this stability. Tell me about this passion card. With the Six of Swords, it is about moving forward. Manifesting a new relationship, a brand new beginning, just like that death card. You need to cut out that confusion though. Because with the confusion comes overthinking and resentment. Some of you are already thinking that there's a third party. You're already thinking that you're going to file divorce, divorce papers. You're going to do legal separation. You're thinking this person is going around offering his cup of love, her cup of love to so many other people. Meanwhile, I'm here. Meanwhile, I'm here waiting for them. But in reality, all they're doing is working. Okay, so let's clarify this. How do, how does Libra, how does Libra release themselves from the doubt? How do they fix the separation issue? How do they clear up the confusion? What's the advice for Libra moving forward, making the effort? To get back together to become close again and not separate so if you ultimately come on now Libra why are you being petty why are you being petty look at this Libra Someone is working their ass off. If somebody just got a promotion in a new job, maybe they're the supervisor, maybe it takes them away from home more than you thought it would. And that leaves you at home trying to be like this partner who's very strong and understanding and you're trying to be practical and holding down the household, still thinking about your marriage, but wondering where is this going to lead a marriage or a partnership? Where is this going to lead us down the road if all they're doing is working their ass off? It also means that you need to take control of what you want your future to become. Thinking that you're being left out in the cold because someone is working their ass off. Like you need to give them their opportunity to thrive as well. You need to give them the space to grow. I feel as though you're accusing them or you're thinking or you're doubting that there is something more than work going on here. The little contact and communication you have with them, I feel as though it can be a bit argumentative. You miss them. You want to be with them. You want to see them. They're too far. You don't, you know, they're too busy. You want to give this relationship a new beginning. However, it feels as though you're the only one fighting for this new beginning because you feel like, why am I doing all the work? Don't you want this relationship too? But what you don't see it that is that they're trying to build this future for you, with you, by working as much as they are. Those plans you have for the future that you guys have been talking about and thinking about, they're still there. This is their opportunity. This is their opportunity to do their part in building this future, this happily ever after, this Ten of Cups. So what's the takeaway here for Libra couples? What do they need to know? What do they need to deal with? How can they move forward? Very appropriate, Libra. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show that you care, that you care and that you understand what they're doing. 
Look at how she's looking up to him, like appreciative. All it takes is showing some appreciation and saying, I understand, I know what you're doing, you know, apologize for how you've reacted, how you've behaved, if you've undercut them, if you've made them feel bad, all because they're really just trying to build on something for you and with you. I don't feel cheating at all. I'm not saying, you know, it's not happening, but for those that I am reading for, that I'm connecting with, I do not feel cheating at all. This is really somebody who's trying to find their place in their career, who's trying to manifest financial new beginnings, who's trying to like run with this business venture, who is thinking of the future, which is why they're taking this so seriously. They know you love them and they're doing this knowing that you know they love you and the distance between you has nothing to do with other people it has everything to do with the love that you have for each other so libra couples understand that this person is just really working their ass off <laughs> that's all i keep feeling is it has to be about work so be supportive if you're seeing a lot less of them now because of all the work they've been doing, understand that this is something that they need to do. Do you want to be the supportive partner that he knows or she knows will always be there for them, knowing that you were there to support them to do such great things, to find their path, to find their financial future, to flourish, abundance? Do you want to be that partner that was there for them the whole time? supporting them guiding them encouraging them or do you want to be that partner that they resent because they had to switch their plans around to appease you to not have problems with you which may have some setbacks in the end so libra really think about the steps that you're taking here the things that you are saying the accusations understand that the love is there you need to make the effort. You need to be supportive. They also need to make the effort because, well, you're trying to be supportive, right? So Libra, that was your reading. Thank you so much for all your support. If this resonates, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I've got more readings coming up. So take care. Bye, Libra.